Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. I double click on default.html page, I right click on default.html page open with the notepad. In the previous tutorial we understood how we can create text area. You can see that I have given a name to the text area txta address. Prefix I have used txta that indicates text area and also I added one attribute selected to the UG option so that when I load the page UG selection UG option should be by default selected. In this tutorial I am going to discuss how do we submit the application form information or data to the processing page. First thing I am going to use a break tag BR tag to create a submit button to submit the information filled in the form we need to create submit button. So I am going to create submit button by using the input tag input type should be submit 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 forward slash greater than what it does it creates a button you can see file save go to browser and refresh you can see at the bottom there is a button created on top of that we have a text submit query now what submit query button does means when I click on this submit query button, all information that is filled in these controls are sent to the processor.html page which is the one going to process our form, right? Here we have mentioned action equal to processor.html. All information in this form is going to be sent to the processor.html for processing purpose. Let's see that if I say if I enter some information M A N J U Manju, I enter here M A N J U Manju, I enter here M A N J U Manju, gender is male, are you physically challenged? No, software skills C, C, Java, and I say qualification details PG, and I give some address maybe Hyderabad. Then I click on submit query. Once I click on the submit query, you should see here processor.html page loaded. You can see that we moved to the processor.html page and it is asking do you want to remember the password? No, not now. One thing you need to observe here, it is most important. We are having method set to get. We, we are sending this complete information to the processor.html by the method get. If a method is in get form, user can be able to see complete information filled in the form in the address bar. You can see here first it displays the protocol file colon then we have path to the file then we have file name or a processing page that is processor.html after that we have question mark anything written after the question mark is known as query string this complete string that is returned here is called as query string query string is actually a list of key value pairs query string is actually list of key value pairs there the key will be control name and value will be value entered or value of that control here you can see here we have one key value pair key is txt username that is the text box name txt username by default value is empty but we have entered the value manju while submitting so it has manju is the value setup so key is txt username value is manju there is a equal to sign also you can see to separate key value pairs in a query list browser uses ampersand ampersand is separator between key value pairs okay next key is pwd user that is here you can see pwd user that is user password by default value is nothing but while submitting the form we entered the password manju that is the value of pwd user key you can see there is a equal to sign used then to separate the pairs we have here ampersand then pwd confirm password box we entered the value manju you can see that then it has ampersand we, we know now what is the use of ampersand and also you can see rdb gender rdb gender is equal to m you can see rdb gender is a group 
and it has written us value m because we have checked the mail radio button and after that we have ampersand then we have rdb question rdb question is again a radio button it has written n of course we have said are you physically challenged we said no so n is written back that is the value of the no check box the next we have ampersand then we have chk software skills chk software skills it has written c at present then we have ampersand you can see how it has written that is most important for us for every check box we have given single name chk software skills chk software skills chk software skills all check boxes are selected by us right i have selected all the check boxes here if you see in the browser it has written chk software skills equal to c then ampersand again it has written chk software skills cpp ampersand chk software skills equal to j then ampersand then we have slct question qualification that is the name of selection slct qualification and its value is written that i selected pg so i am going to get equal to p there you can see we have here equal to p then we have ampersand txt address equal to hyderabad i select i i have written hyderabad in the text area this is how the query string is written query string is one of the most important thing to understand okay it is a list of key value pairs where key will be name of the form control and value will be value of the form control at the time of submission one of the disadvantage of get method is okay the method we have set is get the disadvantage is you can see in the address bar here address text box you can say i can be able to see the password clearly can you see but password should be secured so get method is not good when you are sending some secured information it is better to use post method instead of get method if you use post method file save go to browser go back to the form let me close this one file save and open the default.html page now i say m a n j u manju i enter here m a n j u manju i enter here m a n j u manju then i say here pg then i say here hyderabad if i click on submit query check this out we move to the processor.html but we cannot see the query string itself so post method is secured whereas get method is not secured guys you should understand how the data is sent hope you guys have understood what is the difference between get method and post method and how do we create a submit button now also you can see that i created a submit button on the submit button the text displayed is a submit query if you want to change this text you can just give here value v a l u e value i can say here yes u b m i t in capital letters i have written check out what happens refresh you can see that text i can see on the button is capital submit if i written in small letters s u b m i t submit control save go to browser refresh you can see that i am seeing submit text in small letters this is how you can create a submit button guys very simple so for this tutorial this much is enough guys hope you guys have understood what is the difference between get method and post method and how do we create submit button what is the behavior of submit button for this tutorial this much is enough guys for more benefits please subscribe like comment and share see you in the next tutorial keep learning keep coding keep sharing